Hey guys, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. Today's build is a three sim family home, as you can tell by the title, and um, this build was kind of not entirely, uh, you know, focused on the actual house and the interior and stuff. I also wanted to have a bit of a play with the um, terrain tools and just making the garden look so much cooler. Uh, my original, like, thought for this house was house with garden, um, but that just sounds like rubbish, doesn't it? So there we go, three sim family home. Um, as you can see, started off by building the frame of the house, uh, or sometimes known as the shell. Um, and yeah, I wanted it to be, you know, a slightly odd shape, not your normal shape of a house, um, but also not too strange and modern either. Um, it's still, you know, the kind of houses that I'm used to looking at and that kind of thing, but with slightly different um, things here and there. Uh, so yeah, house first, and then I uh, decided I definitely wanted to put rain gutters on. Not sure why I decided quite so early to put some um, guttering in, but you know, there we go. This is sorted. Uh, and yeah, um, I decided the back of the building also looked way too flat, so put on a little extension, um, and that made it kind of how I wanted it. Then realised that it was far too close to, uh, to the front of the house because I decided that instead of having like a big back garden, uh, how I do most of my houses I think, um, and how most houses are in general, I decided that I wanted, you know, some more stuff on the front of the house. Um, and then obviously playing with the terrain. Uh, I have edited out quite a bit of my terrain playing and uh, you'll see in a bit that I do edit out some of the uh, like uh, landscaping because I, I went to town on this definitely I put on some YouTube videos and just you know watched and everything evolved <laughs> but yeah so I thought for this one it'd be nice to have a like little pond out the front uh, so I used one uh, made one with the pond tool and then stuck a whole bunch of rocks everywhere uh, <laughs> See, you can see that I'm putting a few rocks in, and there we go. I skip forward to having all the rocks in and quite a few of like the pon uh, ponds, the plants surrounding the pond. There you go. I even put in a little frog because um, I thought he looked too cute. Uh, and then obviously some more landscaping. Uh, and again, I'm gonna skip through a bunch of the landscaping. <laughs> there you go. Boom! We've got even more plants everywhere uh, just because it took me so long. Uh, I put all my footage in to my video editor um, when I was done and I had like four hours of footage like at least um, so as well as speeding it up I had to skip through quite a bit um, I did debate on changing the color of my frog but thought actually he's pretty cool being a little green dude he's very cute being a little green dude um, and yeah so as for windows on this house I didn't really want to stick with just one set of windows. Um, I really love the, uh, what is it, uh, bay window um, from uh, laundry day stuff and I rarely ever use it because I never feel like it fits on my houses. So I decided straight away, I'm putting it on, I'm making the rest of the house fit with the window, which I kind of think it does, um, but I'm not sure. It's kind of a very eclectic house in the middle, I'd say. Uh, either eclectic or cluttered, uh, very much like any house of mine is, is ever going to be. Um, I don't bother too much with style and just have the stuff I like, basically, is how I do my house, like how I live my life generally. Um, I could never be a minima minimalist, that is for heckin' sure. Um, but yeah, as you saw, I put a little gun down the side uh, with a bee box included and patchy. Uh, so obviously you're going to need seasons uh, to download this house properly. Uh, of course there's going to be a link in the description to uh, it on the gallery or you can just search for my uh, username on the gallery as well. You know, it's there and the gallery, gallery will obviously tell you exactly what packs you need to download it and if you don't have the packs those things will just disappear. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys want me to do a build with just a few packs in it, I'm more than happy to. I do quite like sometimes trying to limit myself 
and just see what I can come up with um, because there are so many freaking packs and I do have them all <laughs> so yeah if you want a certain number of packs in a build just let me know and I will have some fun um, or maybe not and maybe I'll just be like oh my god why doesn't this thing exist in this pack um, but yeah just uh, let me know um, so yeah, I was trying, I tried for so long to get the right, like, you know, cladding and whatnot on the out, outside of the house and how to make it look good, um, far longer than anyone should ever actually look at wall samples or anything ever, unless you, you know, doing it on an actual house, then, you know, you should probably take your time and actually pay attention. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, we've moved on to me figuring out how the heck this is going to work as a house um and i've because it was a slightly odd shape it took me a while to figure out what i was doing um but upstairs there's going to be two bedrooms a bathroom and a big study um and that weird corner bit is going to be chopped off in that study area uh because it just doesn't work I couldn't like figure out how to make it work. If you guys want to download the house and like redo the floor plan, you are more than welcome to. And if you can uh, make use of all the space upstairs without closing off a corner like I do, um, then please let me know. Please like tweet it to me or whatever. Um, tag me in it on the gallery and just <laughs> let me see because you will have obviously a much <laughs> greater mind than mine because I could not figure out how to make that upstairs work how I wanted it to um, but I think it works out quite well just you know I lose like four tiles uh, for grid tiles um, and that's a bit annoying but oh well uh, yeah so on to the flooring I love flooring everywhere at the same time it's just it makes it so much easier for my life uh, and I you probably noticed I love uh, wooden floors in the majority of places and kind of carpets in like bedrooms I think that's what my house in the future is going to be like as well because I just prefer like wooden floors they're so much easier to clean and everything but I do also love the feel of a carpet in a bedroom because you know when you just get out of bed in the morning you don't want to put your feet on like cold wood nice bit of carpet first so you know you can find your slippers in your room and then go on to the the hardwood floors um yeah oh I forgot I did this. I I really wanted to use this uh, that Caribbean themed wallpaper, uh, and at the start I just put it everywhere. <laughs> I was like, I want to use it. I don't know where to use it, so I just chucked it everywhere upstairs first. Uh, but yeah, it ends up in the study. I think it looks quite nice against the more planar panelled walls. Um, and I must say, I do kind of love panelling. It is gorgeous. It just makes a wall look so much nicer. Uh, yeah anyway <laughs> my opinion that's all um and the bathrooms have uh, the nice tiles from silver Selva dorada not well that pack jungle adventure which came with Selva dorada um and yeah i'm doing a bit more landscaping but this time of ivy up the side of the house um because i thought that corner looked very weird uh so a little bit of ivy here and there i mean it's not really here and there is it it's the entirety of the wall um and then again, I thought that the back of the house looked a bit weird, so I put one of those uh, flower trellises uh, um, on the big window and then just made a little flower patch uh, next to the other one because there, there isn't a matching like little flower trellis. Um, I'm going to call it a flower trellis, but it's that or not. I don't know. A window box. There we go. Flower window box. There's a, there's a long one, but then there's not matching shorter one. I'd quite like a matching shorter one so that I could do it on like any of the different windows I know there are other window boxes but they're just they don't look the same and they're not as nice in my opinion you can't match them together um, but yeah anyway rambling <laughs> uh, onto the kitchen I feel like we need more kitchens because I am constantly using this stuff from uh, parenthood because I adore them they are such nice cabinets and again I would totally have uh, cabinets uh, and countertops in my house like that in the future. I've already like picked out what kitchen I'm having. Uh, it's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit ridiculous since I'm nowhere near having my own home. But I already know what I want it to look like. So there we go. 
but yeah i love those cabinets so much uh and we need more we need more choice because i did go through like two kitchens when designing this house and the the other one just looked wrong and anything else in i put in it just looked wrong um so yeah uh yeah uh, and here's the how here's the start of the kind of eclectic cluttered uh home that i was on about earlier it yeah i'm it probably just is cluttered because i love putting all the extra items everywhere i just think that things look so much better when there's like stuff on the um furniture and whatnot uh so yeah definitely not a minimalist by any means but i i you know i don't think i've over cluttered it it just looks like a sim has actually lived in the house for a little while which i think you know is a good thing it's not a bad thing or anything it's 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 fine um yeah oh, i actually really like that kitchen i think it looks quite nice in the end um and oh it took me so long to sort that those rugs as well i don't know what was with me when i was doing this i was so indecisive with everything i did um if you could see the edit of this video there's like chops and changes everywhere i had to cut so much stuff out because i was just i don't know i was just not in a mind to pick a style particularly quickly <laughs> Um, but yeah, so by the front door I had a bit of an issue because there's actually a lot of space and was like, what the heck do I put in here? I don't want it to seem too empty, but again, not too cluttered. So I went with like um, a little cabinet and place to put your mail and that kind of thing. Uh, obviously there was the parenthood, uh, you know, uh, chore chart board thing. Uh, there's a little pin, by, pin board by the door as well. You know, just those few bits and bobs that you want in close reach. Uh, I've also put that Lindsay speaker in there. I know there was a massive issue with that when it first came out, but it came out quite a while ago, so I'm thinking it's all been patched and all is fine. If it's not, like, you know, if you download the house, then get rid of it straight away if it doesn't work, but I'm sure it's fine now. Um, but yeah, and a little bookcase and that kind of thing by the front door. And then we move into the living room. Now, this space is huge. Um, I don't think I actually put a dining table anywhere in this house now, actually. I'm thinking, wait, I've done the kitchen. I've done the front, like, entranceway. I'm now doing the living room. I have no no dining room. So your the mysims would just uh, eat on the couch in this case. I'm so... Why did I leave that out? I'm so confused. Anyway, not that it really matters. I mean, half the time when I'm playing The Sims and I have a dining table, my sims go and sit on the couch anyway to eat their food, so... They just can do what they want to do, aren't they? Um, but yeah, so nice little area for seating. Again, if you did download this and did want a dining table, there is enough room in this house that you know you could put it one in here if you fancied. Uh, by like scooching the like living area across a bit and putting one there, or in the back corner there, you can probably see um, next to the bathroom is a bit of space. You could definitely put one in there. Uh, I'm going to put a laundry and a some things for a uh, nice pet over there in a minute. But um, yeah, you could totally just, uh, you know, stick a dining table in there. I'm, just, uh, I'm like in shock that I didn't actually put a dining table in this place. I always put din dining tables in. I'm so confused. Um, yeah, weird. Anyway, just doing a little bit of clutter here and there. I decided to put some string lights up um, outside. Because I found them in the lighting category and was like, oh yeah, we really need these. It's so cute. So, there we go. Uh, and at this point, I was like, okay, I've done a like a dining area. Not dining area. I haven't done a dining area. <laughs> dining area. I've done a seating area and like a living room space. But there's a lot of extra like space around. Uh, so I thought we'd put some skills things in. So we're going to have like an art easel with a bunch of, you know, decorative clutter to do with canvases and stuff all around. Um, and there is a, what's it called? Piano? No, keyboard. There we go, there's a keyboard um, there as well. And I downloaded uh, like a room off the gallery with a whole bunch of like custom paintings on. Uh, it's not CC, it's just, you know, extra paintings. Um, if you don't want them, obviously, 
get rid of them. But I just wanted some other paintings because I'm constantly using the same ones and I just fancied did something a little bit different. Um, literally all you have to do <laughs> to find any of these custom paintings is just open up the gallery and type like art and then select like room. Um, and you will see so many, there's so many and they're so nice. Um, I just picked one, but if they're not to your taste, then totally just go and find a whole bunch. I just love it. I think it's so good being able to just search and find things. It's, oh, there's so many talented people on the gallery. It is. I love having a gallery. It's great. Uh, anyway, gushing a bit. <laughs> there we go. So downstairs bathroom is done and that's where I put the um, uh, litter tray for a cat. And then I was like, hey, let's, you know, put a litter tray in. We'll put a whole bunch of other cat stuff um, in. I think I only use stuff from cats and dogs, not anything from my pet first pet stuff. If I have, I apologize because I know that not a lot of people like that pack and I'm presuming since nobody really liked the idea of that pack not many people bought it um but of course you know there was all the stuff from cats and dogs so if you know like the litter tray disappears or something under the litter tray went like the feeding bowl or something if that disappears you can always replace it with something else uh and that was it for downstairs downstairs is done we are on to upstairs uh and again hallways these are like one of my least favorite favorite things to furnish ever because I never know what to put in and I just normally put in a whole bunch of plants and just hope it looks okay um and that's about it and I just spun that camera around so many times I apologize if that made you a little bit motion sick it made me a little bit motion sick then um but anyway onto the upstairs bathroom there's only one bathroom in this house with a shower which as it's designed for only three sims by the title of the house it should be okay but um you know just make sure you, you've got a nice routine in the morning uh but yeah so nice shower that matches the tile obviously uh toilet sink all those nice things um yeah i think it's quite a cute bathroom in the end it's sweet that kind of thing it's quite good uh and on to the bedrooms so obviously this one is a bit of an odd shape uh and i've chosen this one to be the master bedroom um so this is the only bed this is the only room with a double bed uh your sims can scooch i think i'm pretty so pretty sure skim wow words i'm pretty sure sims can scooch if not you might have to do a bit of rearranging. I'm sorry, my bad. Um, but I think it still looks quite cute with the bed against the wall. Um, and it definitely makes use of all the space. So they, this room has a walk-in wardrobe uh, and the wardrobe matches the uh, like bed frame in color, which I thought was quite nice. Uh, and I wanted to, to do that specifically. You might have seen that I searched by color for the bed uh, because I wanted to um, actually use like a bed what a bed that I don't normally use uh I normally go for like the whites or like the blue like just blue or like a red bed and that's like it I never go with like a weird colored bed head or anything I just avoid them because I think they're generally harder to furnish a room with and like get things that match um but this time I tried to you know make it a little bit different so there's a little ottoman um, and some lights and I used the OTT outfit of the I think it's supposed to be like an outfit outfit of the day uh, kind of mirror um, in that bedroom that I've never seen before and I presume it came with the stylist career when that um, update came but I don't know I've never seen it before but I like was like oh my god this is such a good mirror I'm gonna put it in um, so that is that um, and then, again, going with the I want to use more colours theme, uh, I made this single bedroom uh, all purple. It's uh, totally purple. Um, yeah, uh, and I also decided to put the bed on an angle because I don't do that often either and I thought that was quite cool and quirky uh, and, I don't know, in my head I envisioned this would be like a teenage girl's room that was kind of wanting to be like, I don't like uh, pink I like purple I want to be a bit quirky and a bit weird uh, so I want my, my bed to be on an angle 
of that kind of thing. I don't know. I always come up with the kind of family in my head of who I think is going to live there. Uh, and then I just go with that when I'm, um, you know, I, I, yeah, I come up with a family I'm going to pretend lives in this house and then I furnish it for that family. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can see, I've forgotten the uh, laundry baskets. So quickly put those in. Um, top tip for laundry baskets is that the best way to do laundry and like do it effectively is to have um, as close to the number of sims uh, to laundry baskets like ratio. So it's ideal that you have one laundry basket per sim and then you don't you can do the laundry like once a week I think or like twice a week and it'll all be fine and maintained. If you have like one laundry basket to like five sims that's not gonna work. Um, and you'd have to do laundry like every like you know day which you know i know laundry is supposed to make it you know more realistic but n unless you have like tiny children and lots of tiny children then you don't do laundry every day do you you do it like once a week maybe once every two weeks if you have enough clothes um but yeah anyway so that's that bedroom done we're on to the um study which is the last bit and we're gonna be into the screenshot soon as you can see i walled off that uh two by two area because i just couldn't make anything work properly i wanted that uh corner couch in there uh so it fits quite nicely now and we have uh a nice desk and that's about it um yeah uh we're about to head into the screenshots, guys. So here we are. I've got some outdoor screenshots. All lovely, lovely. Um, I quite like this. The kind of... Oh, I like the lot so much nicer now, I mean. Um, since we have the terrain tools. Because it does mean that we can make them look a bit more realistic but I do wish that the surrounding area had a bit of texture to it as well now um, into the lit into the downstairs area nice shot from the front door um, a shot of the front door uh, so you can see I've tried to make clutter it but not make it too cluttered I love this kitchen I think blue with uh, those counters looks lovely I just love it it's great um, shot from the laundry machine a shot of the living room it's so cute if i do so some say so myself i like my house i made a good house anyway guys um if you want to download this house of course you can as i said before there is a link in the description down below or you can search for my username on the gallery it's mezzasheep games um all my builds are up there that you can you know download them if you want to redecorate them you're more than welcome to and if you want to share those redecorations on the gallery you can do just tag me uh yeah if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up comment down below uh subscribe for more content and i'll see you guys later bye